Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Reviews, True Lords Into the Mad. Now, as some of you know, we are absolutely uh, on the strengths right now. How many soldiers do we have available? We only have two. We have a rookie and we have Jack. That's not a whole lot, now is it? Brioche is almost back in seven days and we have two people coming back from COVID actions in less than two days. But that is currently not enough. So let's buy some more troops. I don't know. I think I just got one that was someone I had. Customized, but I don't think the rest of them are like that. And by which, I, and by like that, I mean customized. Now, this is what I should want. That is not what I want. Hmm. These are all very bad. Let's give this a try. Africa. Though we don't have any, well, we don't have blue screen protocol. We don't have uh, armor piercing rounds. We have essentially nothing. Oh yeah, see Frax. I thought I had someone, but I didn't have had the luck to get into our tool base yet. Here he is. Okay, Morpheus. You are bringing the medkit. And I think that's about our luck. Let's go. During a recent scouting operation, our friends in the resistance picked up readings from a massive psionic transmitter Advent just deployed in this area. As we understand it, destroying that transmitter while it's still connected to their network would cause catastrophic outages across the region. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Advent has constructed a psionic transmitter in this area, tied directly into their primary network. Our intel suggests destroying it while it's still connected will severely damage their linked systems. Plant the explosives before they have a chance to pull the plug. As I expected, Commander, there are significant readings indicative of the lost moving throughout the combat zone. Be careful out there. Our readings indicate that Relay is feeding energy directly into their network. If you can destroy it, it may disrupt their efforts to isolate the transmitter. Well, not a bad point in and itself, it will also get a scene, which we don't want. Got it, moving. Will do. Let's do this. We want to move in fast, we want to move in swift, we want to move in and be ready to just plant X4, get out of there. We once again have to kill everyone. So I hope for the best. You can take the corner of that car. See what you can see. We've got a hostile squad here. Hmm yeah. Then you said automatic defenses, I expected turrets. Those are not turrets. Got it. You can check, see what you can see. What you can see is the lost. Okay. Do you see anything from up there? That would have been a really bad way to get revealed. Time to joining up there as well. Golden gun. Enemy squad located. We don't have a heavy, do we? No. Uh. 
What you want to happen is that they just fight the lost forever. Did that ignore armor or did that actually piece through the armor? I'm not sure which idea is more terrifying, to be honest. Hmm. Jack, can you go there? Oh right! There's lost there. And there. Okay. That was really bad move on my part. Those are the first lost we saw. I think I just fucked this mission up. Jack used up all of his action now. Need an evac. Affirmative, moving out. On the way. This is a target position now. I'm just not gonna waste my troops now. That was the worst possible reveal I could have taken. So there's absolutely no way for us to, to pull out of that. So let's just try and leave if we can. Well, actually, the robots are completely distracted with the... Uh, ...lost. But it could do... I could have Jack... Plant X4, then run out. So I'm not entirely sure how what the chances of that are. Worth a try. No, 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 it really isn't worth a try. That's a confirmed visual on the transmitter. Plant the X4 charges before they can cut it off from the network. And check his dead. Yeah, this was a really bad call. I don't think uh, there's any way for me to make it there. Unless I'm completely and willing to sacrifice check for the gold. I don't think I'm gonna get check out of this alive regardless. I think he needs an action to plant those, so I think Jack is simply dead.
That's a lot of peak points. Why can't they suppressing fire them all the time? I like that part. They were very good with suppressing fire. Don't shoot, Jack. And that's Jack there. Okay. It is. But on the other hand, I did not lose everyone. Which I would have if I had not pulled everyone out. Several warnings from civilian hmm. informants allowed Advent peacekeepers to repel an XCOM attack on Advent communication systems today. The curfew has now been rescinded. Remember, good citizenship is re I misplayed Jack and Jack had to pay the price for it, which I'm not happy about at all. I have yet to discover exactly what type of exposure led to the creation of these lost civilians, but their numbers would indicate a widespread effect. Hello, Commander. Commander, if you come across any skilled recruits out there, we could always use the help in engineering. We are low on everything, aren't we? Oh, we got another scientist, right? Because we actually succeeded in one thing. Okay. Intel is more expensive to use for a month. Which is fine because we don't have any much to use it on because I'm really bad. Our inspiration did prove beneficial. I will begin our research immediately. Let's get that radio in so we can start looking into additional located. things. Ooh, supplies. Avenger plotting new course. Don't mind if I do, though I don't know what to do with it. So anyway, if I fail to recover uh, myself before Brioche dies for the third time, that's gonna end the mark of this. Well, that's gonna mark the end of this particular uh, attempt. And if I do find myself before that, then my death will mark the end of the campaign. We had some wounded soldiers requiring treatment after that last covert action. With a few days rest, they'll be ready to get back into it. This is where the Templar faction maintains their headquarters. I'll admit they can be a bit extreme when it comes to psionics, but so far they seem loyal to our cause. We can scan at this location to gain additional support from their people. My people understand the value of our cooperation, Commander. The Elders see us as nothing more than raw materials for their design. We will take back our power and turn it against them. Oh, Commander, it's about time we spoke, don't you think? I'm Geist, leader of the Templar Order, but I'm sure you already knew that. Stories of me tend to spread far and wide. You are welcome here any time, Commander, for among all others of your kind, you alone know the true power of the Elders. You have touched their minds, you have heard their voice. And surely you know that they must fall. On behalf of all Templars, I humbly offer our services towards their demise. Together, we shall be unstoppable. My followers and your people continue to grow in skill, and now the Resistance can take on more responsibility, should you need it. A new chance to disrupt the Elders' plans has presented itself, and my followers are eager to proceed. We don't have a sergeant available right now. We could get an engineer, and we could get Nick back. Yeah. 
Wait, is this a health boost? Okay. Uh, we can have Emily get the, get that. Sure. There is an ambush chance. So maybe let's send Frax. Do I have Frax available? Yeah, I do. Frax and Morris are gonna go out for that. You are bringing a gun. I think that think that's pretty good. And you are bringing an auto pistol, some short shot contents, and Templar armor, which is pretty good as well. Covert is our special. Get that. Let's just hope you. Oh, there's another upgrade on. available. Did I get one of these already? Thought I did. I recall having upgraded something. Because we do have two slots available. Do not see them as innocents. Be they man, woman, or child. All those standard defines are to be purged. Honor be damned. Our friends in the resistance are paying a heavy price with the chosen running loose. We should do what we can to take them down before they hit again. Ground facility construction initiated. Okay, so we have another project in the making. Our power supplies, though, quite low, quite low. And we don't have an engineer to put on the power station, so... Yeah. Commander, the aliens aren't slowing down. They've already got multiple facilities operating across the globe. We're running out of time. So if I run out of time... That Looks might like also be an issue. Are getting close to finishing their precious avatar. I don't imagine that will be good for you and your friends. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Commander, we're almost out of time. The avatar project is entering its final stages. The only way we're going to slow the elders' progress is by destroying one of their facilities. We have to move fast or everything we've worked towards will be lost. Alright, so what we need to do now... Uh, let's take a look for a moment. What do we have available? Hmm, the Reaper is still out. Okay, so I'm gonna send... some people to take care of that uh, retaliation next time. And then we're gonna go and hit the black side. See if that reduces... Energy flows through that the progress too. Though we also have the option of just using a covert action for it, which might be smarter. Any human once thought possible. When the elders are truly banished from the earth, we will be the masters of the power they have left behind. Okay, that's actually the plan. Our next covert action is just gonna be to disable, to mess with the attempt at messing with our attempt. Of destroying the avatar. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. I'm just out.